over 110 years, the National Trust has been preserving special historic sites forever for everyone. And from its heights as a Tudor powerhouse, after three centuries of alteration and modernisation, the Vine Estate here in Northampshire came under the Trust's care in 1956. Leading a team of hundreds of staff and volunteers, I've come to the Vine today to meet property manager Dave Green to find out what the Vine means to him. Dave, lovely to see you. And now you've been at the Vine for two years now. Tell me about your first impressions of the place. My first impressions were what a fantastic place this is and what a great place to work, what a great place for visitors. And nestled between Basingstoke, Redding, and Newbury, got some great audiences on our doorstep. And really what I felt was they need to be enjoying this place, they need to be experiencing it, coming along. It's got a fantastic history, as you can see from the building instantly when you look at it. Let's get telling those stories and make everybody welcome. So it's got a great history but also a great future ahead of it as well, especially within the next 12 months. Tell me about that. I think the first thing we've got this year that will really excite people is that we're opening a new exhibition. It's all about the Vine Ring as it's known, a ring that some people say inspired Tolkien to write Lord of the Rings. With the Hobbit films being out and so popular at the moment, I think that one's really going to hit local people and really finding out that this exhibit is on their doorstep. Apart from that, you can see behind us we're having a new play facility built. It's really important to the National Trust and to this site in particular that we get our visitors young and that they can really enjoy these places. And what better way than saying come and play and you can see this is the Trust ideal of natural play, all landscaping, hopefully really good fun for everyone. And you've got a whole host of events during the coming seasons as well. What do they involve? Well, we've got a range of exhibitions, events, old favourites and some new ideas. One of the new ones is a big exhibition, a contemporary art exhibition, which will shock some people. But essentially, we've got some artists sponsored by the Arts Council to make some exhibits inspired by our collection. I think some people will struggle to tell the difference between what's been here for a hundred years and what's new. but. What a great challenge for people. As well as that, we've got our usual events programme and that contains everything from concerts through to, well, the Tudor weekend's always popular, so St George's Day, we'll have reenactors, and of course trails are plenty for the children to do. Come enjoy the wood sculptures, get out into the woods, see the different things that happen on site, and even the changing seasons. Great days out at the Vine. Dave, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So, with plans afoot for an ever-increasing number of attractions here, it seems the future of the Vine Estate here in North Hampshire during the 21st century is assured. And whether you're watching this as a former visitor or someone who's yet to come here, it seems there's plenty more reasons for you to follow in the footsteps of Henry VIII and see what brought one of Britain's most famous monarchs to this very spot. Bye-bye. <laughs>